is Abdul Rahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last session, we talked about the if-else block. And generally, we had seen that the if-else block was all about if a condition it is true, then a particular statement it is executed. And if that particular uh, condition it is false, then another statement it is executed and the program exit. Today, we are going to take it further and ask ourselves what is if else if block control structure. And in that particular journey, we are going to actually to ask ourselves what is its definition, what it is its syntax, and how can we implement. So, let's go on and see what it is if else if block so basically the if else if block it actually takes what we call it takes what we call multiple uh, instru i mean multiple options so it takes up a multiple options These particular options of conditions, they follow a sequence from top to down. And if it encounters in that particular journey from top to down any condition which it is true, then it executes that particular condition and exits uh, that particular selection. However, if it finds any condition which is false, then it will go and execute the last statement. So basically, let's see how uh, in a graphical manner or, or in, a flow, uh, in a data flow diagram how this it is done. So let's take for example, if a program starts here, So, we'll have here a condition. One. So, this particular condition, one, when it is true, then the first statement is executed. However, when this particular condition it is false it will encounter another condition too and when this condition it is true it will execute statement two However, again, if it is false, it will move on to another condition. And in our case, it will be condition 3. And if this particular condition 3 also it is true, it will execute a statement number 3. And then when this falls, it will go on and on. And uh, if this condition it is false again, now it will go and execute statement of else. So therefore, at the end of the day, this one, the else statement, it will go to the end. However, each and every one of these, when it has executed a statement, it will jump the next selection and go to the end. So this is basically the flow of the ILSF block. So let's see now what is the syntax of it. So the syntax uh, basically is a very simple uh, one. So we are saying if we have got a condition
then we execute a particular statement or a block of statements if it is true else if we have got condition 2 we are going to execute statement 2 else if we have got another condition 3 it will execute statement 3 and we are saying else execute <coughs> statement 4 or what we call the else statement so basically this will be the syntax of else f statement now uh, let's go to see how we can implement basically how do we want to implement this is we are going to ask up a user to enter their marks and uh, according to a particular criteria we are going to make that particular user actually get up their grade as from a b c d e and fell so if a user enters max from 0 to 70 we are going to award a if a user enter max from 69 to 60 we are going to award the max b if a user enters max from 59 to 50 we are going to award c and uh, if a user enters max from 49 to 40 we are going to award d and finally if a user enter max below 39 we are going to say yes fail so basically this is how we are going to implement so let's go back to dev c plus plus and see how we are going to implement so basically here we are going to initialize a variable called max after initializing that particular variable we are going to ask up a user to enter max to know their grade so a user will enter his max to know up his grade and then we are going to capture it using a scan f so the syntax of scan f we are using up a, a format specifier of an integer which is percentage d and we are using up the address of max and each statement must be terminated and then now we are putting up the logic of if else if statement so we are saying up if max if max is less than so we are using up our, uh, our rational operators is less than or equal to 100 so we are looking at our range for a that is 100 and we are using up logical uh, operators and max we are saying uh, is greater than or equal to the range of 70 then what do we do so we open and close the curly bracket and basically what do we do we say print f print f and we are telling up the user your grade is a and we terminate 
so we'll go on and check for each at every one of this particular statement to know that a user actually is within that particular range so here is where we are putting up the else if else if so we are putting up our second condition else if max they are less than or equal to 69 and this is the logical and max is greater than or equal to 60 what are we telling we are telling actually print f your grade is b so here you are printing f our grade is b and then we are putting up another else if else if your marks are less than or equals to that is 59 and the logical and marks and your marks actually greater than or equals to 50 so we can see up here 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 we are talk, we are supposed to say greater than 50 then what do we do then basically we are saying print f basically we are saying print f your grade is c and then we move on to put up another if else um, else if else if your marks are less than or equals to we are saying 49 and marks are greater than or equals to 40 what are we saying here we are saying again it is that we print f that your grade it is d and finally we are saying our else statement so we are saying else else what else else print f so else print f your grade is fail so basically basically this is how we are going to implement so let's run this particular program and see what happens yes so it gives us uh, enter your marks to know your grade so let's take for example we put uh, uh, we put 55 so 55 basically it will tell us our grade it is C so let's enter and actually sell tell us your grade it is actually C so this one actually demonstrates how we can use the uh, uh, if else if block uh, into uh, dev c++ and that marks up the end of our lesson until uh, our next lesson which will be the nested ifs and onto that uh, don't forget to subscribe into our new videos thank you mm -hmm.